Thank you for joining me today for this special centering practice. We will be combining everything that you have learned so far. We will begin with some beautiful intuitive stretches. You can follow along with me or move in a way that feels good to you. I want you to keep your journal close by so we can write down any intuitions that come to us while moving. Our body holds so much information that can get locked and blocked and we may not have access to it in our normal state of awareness. So this is a great time to be able to access that wisdom and bring it into the 3D world by writing it down for later. We're going to begin with a few moments of stillness. Breathing in and out, closing your eyes if that feels good to you, and then we begin to move. Moving our neck round and round, ever so slowly, breathing in as we go to the side and back, breathing out as we come to the opposite side and back forward. You may wish to stretch your arm out to the opposite side of where your head is tilted. Or you can bring it to lay softly on your lap. So much energy gets locked up into our neck and shoulders. Whether you are staring down at a phone, lap, laptop or iPad or even reading a book sometimes we have to put everything down fall into our bodies and see what she needs moving our neck again in slow gentle circles to the opposite side Finding stillness. And again we move. Remember there is so much wisdom deep inside our bodies just waiting to speak to us. Give us little intuitive nudges Instead of seeing them as a problem or trying to quiet them down, let's really listen as we move in ways that feels good to that body, this body that carries you throughout your day, keeps you protected and safe. Stretching the opposite arm. making sure that you're in a comfortable position if you need to have something supporting your back like a pillow wall or even your bed lean up against it if needed this should feel so good these stretches are not about pushing yourself too hard or trying to achieve a certain posture Instead, it's about connecting with your body, honoring its needs, and moving in a way that feels nourishing and joyful to you. Making yourself comfortable, we stretch our arms out like a T. Take a look side to side. Try to bring your arms to the same height, shoulder height if possible, or wherever you feel comfortable. Breathing in and out, feeling the sense of calm and safety that comes to your body when you uncurl and open up wide. 
signaling to the universe that I am safe, I am open, I am ready to manifest. Bringing your arms up, slowly stretching them out, opening up the energy of the space, opening up the energy of your body and energy system. Swaying side to side, if that feels good to you. Loosening up those hips and back and shoulders, coming forward. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing in and out and let it go. You're going to stay here moving in these small, gentle movements, side to side, uncurling, stretching and loosening everything up, feeling softer now, softer and more aware of our body, of every inch from head to toe. As you center in on this awareness, you may even feel a tingling sensation on the part you are focusing on, whether it is your hand, your foot, or even a single toe. Feeling that sense of deep relaxation that comes whenever we let go and feel into our body. Reconnecting with ourselves, reconnecting with our soul self, listening and hearing what she wants to tell us. You may wish to bring one leg out, deepen a little bit more into this practice. Breathing in and out, uncurling, letting those arms be wide and open again. Bring yourselves into a state of openness. You may even wish to say, I am open. I am open to receive this healing. I am open to receive any intuitions that will guide me on this healing journey. And I am open and ready to manifest. Stretching on the other side, releasing any tension there. Breathing in and out as we release, possibly bringing your hands to the ground, finding any natural materials to touch, like a wood floor or a cloth, blanket or mat. Maybe you have a special item like a stone or feather that you wish to touch as you come down to the floor, reconnecting you and grounding you with this earth plane. You are part of this plane. You belong here. This is your birthright too. Not only do you feel such, such a deep sense of calm whenever you think of Mother Earth, but you also feel a sense of belonging and connection. Rooted down into the earth through your earth star chakra, located below your root chakra, so deep. almost like a cord that connects you down into the earth, giving you a constant supply of energy and happily taking anything that you need to give to her. Breathing in and out as we find stillness, thinking of those natural items, the way that a tree sways in the wind the way that she's still standing after a torrential downpour or thunderstorm the way that the birds just know where to go and we follow them and listen to our bodies and we know where to go to moving side to side
finding stillness. Once again, finding stillness once again, listening. What is your body trying to tell you? What does it need from you today, this week, this month, or even this year? She has so much wisdom to share with you. listening remembering that you have your journal and pen nearby if you need to write anything down that comes forward to you even if you don't understand it any series of words or images go ahead and write this down as needed what do you see what do you feel what are you noticing We're going to move down to a lying position, lying in a way that feels comfortable to you. You may wish to stretch your legs out or leave them up with your knees pointed up if that's more comfortable for you. Hands at your sides or on your belly or in a way that feels really right to you. And together we are going to take a journey. journey deeper as we peel back the layers the layers of the veil you begin to see the other side you begin to see the full picture you see things the way that the creator sees them not as a problem just as pieces pieces of this world that we live in what kinds of pieces do you see around yourself now I want you to imagine a movie screen in front of you and you see yourself on that screen I want you to notice any areas that look uncomfortable you may notice heat cold, tingling, you may see a color over those areas of your body. And wherever you see those uncomfortable areas, I want you to bring in the opposite quality. If you feel warm, I want you to bring in ice. If you feel tingling, I want you to breathe until you feel stillness. If you feel cold, I want you to warm that area up. Maybe if you feel cold aching in your shoulders, you can warm it up with your warm hands over that area. Now, I want you to see another picture on the screen. The last picture is gone. The pain is gone. It's been healed. You're feeling healthier than before. And now you see yourself. You see yourself so beautiful and healed. Your highest self, your highest version of you standing before you now. I want you to focus on that part. I want you to focus on that version of yourself. And remember what that looks like. Remember the feeling. How do you feel when you see yourself healthy and whole? How do you feel towards this version of you? Hold that feeling and any time that you feel any discomfort in this body, I want you to just close your eyes, 
take a couple deep breaths, bring in that opposite quality, and then wipe it away and see that full healed version of you again. You will want to repeat this every day for 21 days as your body adjusts to this new timeline. You may do this more than once a day. You may do this as often You may do this as often as feels right to you. Thank you for joining me for this practice today. I have so much gratitude for you for showing up today. And I hope that you have that same gratitude and love for yourself.